today's video, we're going to be having a conversation about some potentially massive news pertaining to Lost Origin booster box reprints coming, what this means, and what could this mean for the future when it comes to reprints. But before we jump into it, as always, we do weekly giveaways. All you have to do to enter is leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We post pre-recorded content each and every week for you to enter. And then lastly, we've got a couple of socials, one extra that I recommend you join or follow. Uh, we just recently started becoming more active on our Twitter. We're actually doing an additional giveaway. So if you want to go check that out, Brilliant Stars Booster Box, link is down in the description below to be a part of the giveaway. Obviously, you have to follow, retweet, etc., etc. And then we just added pre-orders for Dark Obsidian or Obsidian Flames. So if you want to partake in that, we actually had just one spot open up for our Patreon wholesale tier. Highly recommend you check it out. And if the rumors are true and we are indeed getting Lost Origin Booster Box reprints, you also could potentially have the opportunity to partake in that. So highly recommend you get in, in that last spot on the Patreon before it does indeed sell out. Um, but outside of that, Discord is down in the description below to be a part of the community. And let's jump into it, ladies and gentlemen. So as I prefaced at the very start of the video, Lost Origin Booster Box reprint. So I'm gonna give a shout out to Adrian on this one uh, with the Pokemon Deals community. So this was announced yesterday. We actually discussed this on the live. Make sure to come check us out Tuesdays and Thursdays, 12.30 Pacific Standard Time. Um, and we have some information that the booster boxes are slated to get reprinted in mid-July, and from what we're hearing, it's going to be a fairly large reprint, uh, specifically with this distributor. They're saying that they're allowing stores up to a maximum amount of uh, ability to purchase of 20 cases. Now, does that mean that if every store orders 20 cases, they're gonna get 20 cases? Of course not. It just means that for a lot of stores, that's gonna be the cap. So they can't just go in and order a thousand cases of booster boxes and expect to get it. Um, one interesting part about this is the price is going to be 120 with this specific distributor being EC, or not ECD, um, GTS distribution. And I know a lot of people immediately are going to say, wow, that's the new wholesale price, that's crazy. I wanna preface by saying this, we have confirmation so far that GTS is confirming a reprint. We have confirmation so far that GTS is gonna be charging 120, but this does not mean that every distributor is going to be charging 120. I know that for a couple of my distributors, they will charge markets, they'll charge MSRP, they'll charge below market, above wholesale, at wholesale. So the prices range from distributor to distributor and I highly doubt that the 120 price is going to be defined as the new wholesale pricing. That just doesn't make any sense. Pokemon has never done this. I highly doubt that they would do this. When Brilliant Stars got a reprint, Astral Radiance got its small reprint, it was still being charged at wholesale pricing. Obviously some stores <laughs> made it so that you had to bundle buy other products, but they still charged it to you at wholesale nonetheless. And so I think that with other distributors, Lost Origin will be available on those prices uh, or on those distributor pages for wholesale. And why this is important to you guys is this is obviously going to have a direct effect and correlation on the market. Uh, one funny thing about this is I was talking to one of my reps today, um, Full disclosure, it was with <laughs> it was with Southern Hobby, and I was having a conversation, and I told him about the prices in which they were charging with GTS, and he just burst out laughing, saying, "Yeah, that's GTS for you. Um, they like to rob customers." So <laughs> he is very much confident that if indeed uh, there is going to be a reprint information, which so far. Uh, he hasn't heard any news from the buyer. Uh, I will keep everyone obviously updated as we hear some more information from other distributors, other sources, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but uh, it's very doubtful more or less uh, that we're going to see prices for certain distributors be at the 120 price. That's like I said, not gonna be for all distributors. Some distributors are going to be pricing it above MSRP, <laughs> a magazine exchange. Uh, anyway, oh, sorry, was I calling people out? Oh, my bad. <laughs> so it's, um, it's, it's a fun time in the wholesale distributor. But here is what 
is important to understand. And this is the question that everyone is going to be asking me, Eli, what are the prices going to be for Lost Origin? That's the first question people are going to ask me. Well, if you guys remember when it came to the prices and we'll have to go back real quick and click on it for Brilliant Stars, but Brilliant Stars, we had a tiny, tiny reprint. This was not a big reprint whatsoever. The prices at the high point were for roughly around 181 a piece. Remember this, this reprint was tiny and we are currently seeing prices as low as the 138, 140-ish range. Actually, it looks like prices have gone up since we last looked. It hasn't represented on the chart, but you can go to other sites and you can still pick it up for 138, 140. Um, and that's about a $40 drop, right? And I mean, this is represented in the charts, right? 138 is the low, regardless of whether it's accurate or up to as it stands right now. A $40 drop is about what, 25 percentage for such a tiny, tiny reprint. And if we're getting, you know, news, which, you know, Pokemon deals community, once again, shout out to Adrian, very reputable source. I would like to believe that having it say that it's a fairly large reprint, this might sound crazy, but I think that $100 is not out of the realm of possibility. And I think that people are going to be up in arms by me saying this because a lot of individuals that have been sitting on Lost Origin are going to be like, how dare you, Eli? That's crazy. It'll never go that low. But once again, Brilliant Stars had a absolutely tiny reprint and it dropped 25%. When Evolving Skies had a small reprint, wasn't tiny, but it was small reprint. Back a year and a half ago, prices dropped seventy to eighty dollars, depending upon which site you were going. And we have a fairly large or even a medium-sized reprint, we'll say. And it's not Brilliant Stars. It's not Evolving Skies. Which don't get me wrong, like Lost Origin is a great set, but. It's not one that's going to hold up if there is going to be a massive reprint because even Evolving Skies can't do that. It's just basic supply and demand economic theory, right? And so for that reason, I just say, if this is 100% going to happen, which at this point it feels like it's very much confirmed, $100 is very much in the cards. And I, and I could be wrong, right? It could be 120, it could be 110, it could be 105, it could be 100, but... I can't think of an example where we haven't had a booster box within the price range of Lost Origin where it's had a large reprint occur and we've seen the price for that product absolutely tank because we're talking about right now it's roughly at around 165 and for those of you guys that remember back at the end of 2021 when we did have that large reprint slash resupply of just everything you know getting flooded to the market. We had Chilling Rain sitting at 150. We had Darkness of Blaze sitting at 150. We had Vivid Voltage sitting at 140, 145. All these booster boxes crashed heavily when it came to the product. You had both Vivid and Darkness didn't get printed as much as Chilling, but they were in the low 100s and Chilling, which got printed drastically more, went to wholesale. So am I ruling it out that Lost Origin is potentially not or is going to go to wholesale honest to god guys this might sound crazy but it's never out of the realm of possibility i know we've been in this kind of mindset where reprints are just done for this is never going to happen it's you know we're moving on from sword and shield and that's been just the sentiment around the market but we have to remember just a year and a half ago just two years ago we saw a product that was in the 150 to 200 plus price range crash 50, 60, 70% of its overall value. So it's entirely possible to see that happen. And for the ones where you're asking Eli, what dropped 60, 70%, the voltage at its high point went from 240 and went all the way to as low as the low 100. So that's a massive, massive drop. So it can be done. It can a thousand percent be done. But I think the more conservative expectation, I would say, is I think you could see Lost Origin get to the low 100s for certain if this is going to be a medium large reprint. And if it's on the larger side, wouldn't surprise me if it goes sub uh, 100. And for those people that ask me, Eli, what's the price I should be honestly picking it up at? 
I'm not going to peg this to a price. Honestly, my price is going to be determined by a two to three week rolling price average. And what I mean by that is if it goes by for two to three weeks where I don't see any more further downside action, then I will know it's time to pick up. But if I am like, oh, wow, it hit 105 and it took like a week to do so, I should probably pick it up right now. If it's got the momentum to keep going down, why am I going to try and catch a falling knife? I'm just going to wait a couple of weeks when I've seen it stabilize at a certain price point, And then I'll say to myself, all right, it's been sitting at 105 for the past three weeks to a month now. It might be time that I hop in and I pick up at that current price point. So because, you know, I don't have a crystal ball, I can't make predictions on the exact waves. And as I get more information from my other distributors, I will keep you guys up to date on full on confirmation of what the sizes are ultimately going to be for the Lost Origin reprint. But outside of that, one thing I think is important to understand on what's more than likely also going to happen is it would surprise me at this point if Silver Tempest also didn't get reprinted. And my, my theory behind that is pretty simple, right? We had a tiny reprint for Astral and a tiny reprint for Brilliant, right? If we're gonna have a large reprint for Lost Origin, well, what's the theme so far? Sets are all 2022 sets. The last one of the 2022 booster box sets would be indeed Silver Tempest and is also the newest one of the booster box sets for 2022. So it makes sense that if Lost Origin is gonna get a decent size, then why not Silver Tempest? Because these were sets that were both short printed, if you guys don't realize this. I remember when I was uh, getting allocation numbers for Brilliant, I got about, I mean, 100 plus boosters from my distributor, Astral, you know, I had about 90 boosters, but going into Lost Origin and Silver Tempest, they dropped that price, or they dropped the booster box count down to 66, 70 boxes each. And I was like, what is going on, guys? And they're like, hey, we just got less for this than the last two sets. So, you know, that's not saying that it <laughs> it's so short printed that the the there's no supply available, but more or less what that more or less means to say is considering we haven't seen a lot of supply, there's a reason why we've seen the prices for both these booster boxes go up in value, which was, coincidentally enough, one of the reasons why, if you guys remember, I made a video a very long time ago where it was my playing the wave strategy. It was a video that I made a tutorial of saying, hey, how you go playing the wave strategy, as I've mentioned many times before on this channel, on making money off of selling sealed product in the short to medium term. One of the items that I picked was the Silver Tempest Booster Box, and I felt like it was a prime candidate based off of the overall supply, based off of my sentiment towards the Lukia and the set overall, and following and seeing what happened with LO prices stabilizing really well because of the short print. It made me feel as if this could be an opportunity where you could go pick this up for 90 bucks a piece on uh, I can't remember if it was Game Nerds or if it's Safari Zone that was doing at that price but I told people and I did it you know live and then I eventually um, I, I bought it at first at 95 and then I redropped a link saying hey go to this link you can actually get it for cheaper at 90 so um, I ended up refunding the 95 and picking it up at 90 <laughs> um, but yeah prices right now uh, 147 is what we're talking about general average I mean last sale is 150 um, ignore the photos that usually means it's just pack bundles um, so we're talking close to 150 and if you like I made in the example for the video picked up $90 a box if we're saying to ourselves you're just gonna sell on a TCG player which I wouldn't recommend I try selling local first so you can avoid shipping and fees but if you were to, I mean, shipping, you're going to walk away with $27 a box, which might not seem like a lot, but that's 30% margins at this point. And we haven't even gotten confirmation that this item is going to indeed get a reprint. And now the other question people are going to also be asking outside of Silver Tempest, because now it's pretty much extremely likely Silver Tempest is going to follow. What do I do if I'm sitting on a bunch of Lost Origin right now? You've got multiple ways to approach this, but if you guys remember what happened with Evolving Skies, when announcements were made about Evolving Skies reprints, prices crashed about 20%. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen with Lost Origin, but if you are sitting on, I don't know, like 20 cases of LO, 10 cases, 5 cases, I don't care, however much, 
I don't think it's a bad idea to deleverage yourself and start taking profits now. If you want to, you know, uh, you know, pay, I'm not, I don't got paper hands, diamond hands, baby. Like if you want to be that guy, you can, but you also have to think of opportunity cost and you're missing out on a crap ton of opportunity cost by leaving profits on the table by not deleveraging yourself because guess what? If you say to yourself, as with my strategy of playing the wave, you can cash out having picked up lost origin booster boxes at 90, 95, 100, 105. You sell at what, 175, I think is where we are right now. You take that money you made. If for some odd reason, this ends up being a, a fake, you know, reprint that is not as big as we think, which is very, very doubtful at this point, I'd be stunned. Um, it just would be, all right, well, at least I made money, right? But if if we're right, as we're presuming, <laughs> um, then congratulations, you didn't leave money on the table and you're gonna be able to rebuy in with the capital that you just freed up at a lower position and you're going to use that extra liquidity that you just made from cashing out at a really good price point to buy more boxes, right? So you're getting in at a lower price and you're getting in with more liquidity, which is obviously it's, it's a win. So how you look at it is either you're, you know, you take a little bit off the table, you deleverage yourself, you don't leave profits on the table. Oh, you're wrong. Too bad. I can go take that money. I can go put it in another opportunity. There's plenty in the market still, or I'm right. And I just got in lost origin booster boxes at a really nice price. And I didn't miss the opportunity of getting in at a nice price and leaving money on the table. So I look at it as a win-win in that general position. If you are someone who is holding lost storage and, or you could be the individual, obviously, if you want to, that sells it all, right? It's up to you on how you want to approach it. If I'm being honest, if it were me, I'd probably sell all, but that's, you know, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, just because this is pretty definitive at this point. So, but anyway, I kind of digress with that. This is the just general thought process that I've been having over the past couple of days with this. I'm super duper excited to see news of this. I think this is going to be super good for the market. It lines up, honest to God, perfectly with the time frame for usually when we see reprints, because if you guys have noticed the just general pattern of how the Pokemon company likes to do reprints, it's usually within a month of a set, like a month before, a month after. Um, we got... Scarlet and Violet Base was at the end of March. We got our reprints for Brilliant and Astral near the end of April. Um, when we had reprints for Chilling and a bunch of these other sets, it was a month after Fusion, and it was also a month before Fusion, which is funny because we had such a, a large reprint, right? So, um, and then when it came to our reprint for Evolving Skies back in 2022, it was a month before Lost Origin. And so you you kind of get the point that I'm more or less making at this. Pokemon Company tends to do reprints a month before or after certain sets. So this just kind of lines up with Paldea Evolved and a month from you know that with mid-July-ish, you know, give or take when we get the exact dates. It just more or less makes sense that this is the direction in which the Pokemon company has historically gone when it comes to reprints for this set. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I will keep you guys once again up to date on all things when it comes to the reprint news when I hear more information. But that is the end for today's video. Make sure if you want to partake in our weekly giveaways, check out our Twitter. Like I said, make sure you follow, retweet. The giveaway link will be down in the description for that. Make sure for our YouTube, you leave a comment, like, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And then outside of that, take advantage while we have a spot available for the Patreon to get access to pre-orders for Dark Obsidian right now, as well as potential for, if, you know, presumably you are going to get numbers for Lost Storage and to get in pre-orders when that does become available. And then outside of that, be a part of the community, stay up to date on all things Pokemon USA. Discord link for that is down in the description below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Until then, I will see you all on Thursday's live. Peace.